Good morning, students. Welcome to today's topic on ocean thermal energy conversion. In short, we call it as OTEC, which is under the course Renewable Energy Resources, the course code being 21-6-6-2. Myself, Padwar Kanandeske, Assistant Professor, Department of Triple A, JVAT Bangalore. So, let's move on to today's topic of discussion on ocean thermal energy conversion. As the name says, ocean thermal energy, the energy which is drawn from the ocean currents over here. It is a method to produce the electricity by using the temperature difference between the warm ocean surface and the cold deep surface to run that of the heat engine. If you look at that particular ocean energy, the top surface will be usually warm and the bottom of the sea it will be little bit called the colder side. So if this variation in this temperature difference, we can able to tap that particular energy. So if the temperature difference is quite greater, then the more energy will be produced. So about 70% of this energy conversion or the energy surface, this is covered by the ocean which is continuously heated by the sun. Extracting the solar energy which is stored in an ocean, this is carried out by exploiting the temperature difference between the warm surface water and that of the cold deep sea water. So this low grade heat which is coming from the renewable energy sources, this is considered to be a good candidate to generate that of electricity. So among these OTC solar energy, they are typically utilized for converting low grade heat into a power generation and the other applications of it. This is a low temperature heat which is obtained from the renewable energy such as that of uh, solar thermal, geothermal or ocean thermal etc. This is presently converted into an electricity and can be utilized directly for heating applications. About 70% of this earth surface which is covered by the ocean which is continuously heated by the solar heat and this solar heat is stored in uneven distribution of heat which is that of uh, warm surface water and the cold deep surface water we call it as gradient difference in the temperature we call it as gradient from where it is harnessed as a ocean thermal energy. So OTEC sites that are located between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn which is around 23.5 degree north and 23.5 degree south of that of the equator which is the best location for the tapping of the top energy. So this ocean thermal energy which is of temperature gradient of 5 degree centigrade and which is more as a ocean thermal energy. The significant of this uh, electric energy, this can be generated in the location where the temperature difference is around 20 degrees centigrade, warm and that of cold. So in many regions, this ocean energy that is maintained about 25 degrees centigrade and more, so can have around 1000 meter square area which is generally about 5 degrees centigrade. Since this average temperature which is available in Baltic Sea around 10 degree and setting up a 40 C electric power plant which is not profitable. So there are two categories over here, one is a land based power plant, how the working principle goes like this. So here you can see the right side of the diagram, the ocean sea water, on the top surface we are getting the warm sea water and the bottom surface we are having the cold sea water. The difference in this temperature is a gradient which is can be able to tap it. This, there are three inputs which is coming, that is warm water and that of cold water coming to an evaporator. From the evaporator it is going to the turbine to hit the a turbine blade to generate the electricity from there it moves on to the condenser with the pumping mechanism we can able to loop it around so this we come a close loop after the condenser it can be able to discharge it of water so from this also we can able to generate the uh, electricity generation the main drawback over here is the cost of the pipe installation and maintenance is very quite expensive and the land based system which is quite expensive so moving on to the second type is that of floating power plant system. Here you can see the diagram over here. This setup has been uh, put it into the ocean and it is connected to an anchor. The main body of this is placed over here, what you see. The diagram is around the outside diameter is around 13 and, uh, and the top diameter is around 60 meters. The cold water intake is going over here, then the outside diameter is 32. So the total length is around 450 meters. This is my anchor chain, okay, which is able to move on. This power plant is able to build a ship platform, which is exactly which is referred to our temperature gradient. The working principle of what is the same as that of the land base. Undoubtedly, the cost saving uh, exists on the piping system. The pops, because pipes you are not going to make use of it. The only thing is the power being generated, it has to be transmitted to a longer distance. That is the only major thing. So that we call it as high insulation cost of uh, uh, underground power cables and its efficiency and its inefficient and many other problems which are associated with the floating OTC is considered for production of uh, fuels, hydrogen on the platform of it. 
so thanks for watching this particular video if you have any doubts with respect to the content you can write down at www.jbt.edu.in uh, do subscribe to our department channel for more lively updates on it thank you